The question of what came first, hardware or software, seems simple at first, but the answer depends on how we define both terms and how far back we look in history. In the most fundamental sense, hardware came first, because physical devices had to exist before instructions could be carried out. Early calculating tools like the abacus, mechanical clocks, and later mechanical calculators were purely hardware, relying on gears, levers, and physical motion to perform tasks. These machines followed fixed functions built directly into their structure, with no separate programs to change their behavior. However, the idea behind software, giving instructions to a machine, actually existed long before modern computers. For example, loom machines in the 18th and 19th centuries used punched cards to control weaving patterns. These punched cards acted like early programs, telling the machine what to do without changing the hardware itself. This marked an important shift toward programmable behavior. Still, the loom had to exist first for those instructions to have meaning. With the arrival of electronic computers in the 20th century, the relationship between hardware and software became clearer. Early computers like ENIAC were mostly hardware driven, and programming them required rewiring physical components. Software as we know it today emerged when machines were designed to store instructions in memory, allowing programs to be changed without altering the hardware. This development made software more flexible and powerful, accelerating innovation. In practice, hardware and software evolved together, each pushing the other forward. Better hardware enabled more complex software, while new software ideas demanded faster and more capable hardware. Today, neither can function alone. Hardware without software is inactive, and software without hardware cannot run. So while hardware technically came first as physical tools, software quickly followed as a way to control, adapt, and expand what machines could do. The real answer is that modern computing exists because of their partnership, not because one is more important than the other.